down in the 48 yard line. The Grizzlies are going to get out of here with a W. Now getting all nostalgic with the whole Nick Holine thing there. It's a <laughs> Ah, the Egypt Central Grizz montage of their song Kick Ass. 96.3 The Blaze, Missoula's Rock Station. Speaking of getting nostalgic, it's in the studio with the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, Bobby Houck. <laughs> it's welcome back, Bobby. How about that? It's so good to be home. It's just, uh, it just feels good to be here. Yeah, and you spent some time in uh, warmer climates, and now you're coming back in the middle of winter. That's a, that's a great choice. Well, <laughs> it, yeah, it's the way it is. That's the, the time of year we turn it over, and just means I get uh, more access to skiing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And you said uh, when you left here, what was it, four years ago? It was actually eight years ago. Eight years yeah, ago. It seems yeah, like that's yesterday. Right. Yeah, it seems it like yesterday. It seems like yesterday. To me. Memories. Misty watercolor. Memories. <laughs> um, it was fun. Those were fun times. When you left here, though, you went to Vegas. And uh, I got to ask, while in Vegas, did you spend any time at Torrey Pines? You know, I did. Bob Bonner is a good buddy. And, mm-hmm. and uh, I got a chance to go up there and watch the uh, rivalry game. Oh, yeah. And uh, enjoyed that because we had a couple of open dates. So spent a couple of good afternoons up at Torrey Pines. Yeah. And then you went to San Diego. You spent some went time in San Diego. Three years in San Diego. San Diego is a great city and a great place to live. But uh, the lure of home was too much. Yeah. We always say that uh, Montana's got the world's longest umbilical cord. You can go as far as you want, but you're always going to come back. My grandfather used to say everybody uh, has roots in Phillipsburg and Butte, Montana. It just <laughs> emanates from there. He said if everybody stayed, it'd be as big as New York City. Yeah, it's like five or five degrees of Kevin Bacon or something like that. Everybody somehow ends back. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> All right, so what do we got to look forward to? I mean, yeah, I know you're going to start recruiting and everything like that, but uh, we're going to... We're going to get things going as far as Grizzly football goes in 2018. Yeah, really excited to get going. Obviously, there's a lot of heavy lifting to do, a lot of work to get done here in, in a in a big hurry. So uh, recruiting's a priority right now and will be. Uh, after we can get recruiting wrapped up in the first week of February, then we'll get going on the team and the offseason conditioning, spring ball. And, uh, you know, I'll be saying this uh, repeatedly as we get closer, but we're kind of racing against the clock to get to September. And it does That sounds a little bit right uh, <laughs> in December, but uh, in our world, that's not far away because gains don't come fast. Yeah, yeah, and it's a it's a year long commitment when you uh, when you start. As soon as that season ends, you're already looking forward to next season. And like you said during your conference yesterday, that spring ball is actually your favorite because you get a chance to actually be a coach. Yeah, I, I love spring practice. Uh, we get some long, heavy, hard practices. There's some hitting that goes on, and we get to actually train our team up to to play football rather than game planning. So uh, you get to work on your skill level, get to improve as a player, and and we're excited uh, for that to happen here in a couple months. Right on. We're so excited to have you back, Bobby. Welcome back home. Well, it's good to be home, and and obviously, go Grizz. We're, uh, we're charging ahead. All right, Bobby Houck, head coach, University of Montana Grizzly football team. If you want to listen to more of the interview, We'll be posting that up via our website and the YouTube channel. All right, 963theblaze.com. Thanks, Bobby.